little bit before 6 o'clock tonight, we were called to a raging fire in the supermarket. Our firefighters showed up in three minutes, and what they saw was fire communicating to adjoining buildings. This fire extended from the supermarket to four residential buildings and quickly went to a fifth alarm, bringing over 250 firefighters to the scene. This fire impacted this community, not only the supermarket that they, they use, but the residents of this community in four different buildings. And our hearts go out to those residents, and we have the Red Cross here to, to help them uh, during these difficult times. What I'm going to do now is turn this over to Chief Correo, who will explain the fire situation, and then Chief Escobar, who will talk about the uh, minor injuries that, that we had during this fire. Chief. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Assistant Chief Tom Correo, C-U-R-R-A-O, uh, Citywide Torque Commander. Uh, as First Deputy Commissioner uh, Pfeiffer uh, mentioned, uh, we had a, a very significant amount of fire here. Uh, the main fire starting in the supermarket quickly went to the left into the two adjoining uh, frame occupancies as well as down Cooper Street into three other frame occupancies. Um, it quickly spread second, third, fourth alarm. Uh, we actually have probably the equivalent of a, of a seventh or eighth alarm here. We went up to a fifth alarm and then on three successive uh, occasions we called four more engines and two more ladders. So. Uh, we were uh, really trying to get ahead of this. It's one of the challenges uh, in wood frame construction, uh, especially uh, in a lot of these uh, occupancies. We have a lot of, you know, the way they're built, a lot of concealed spaces. Uh, it takes a long time to open them up, uh, really get, uh, you know, get at the fire and, uh, and, and get it under control. As you can see behind me, we still have, you know, quite a bit of activity going on. Uh, we are probably will hold right now, but we'll be on scene for, for quite a while. Uh, we'll have a watch line in place uh, and making sure that this fire is, uh, is fully extinguished. So uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, hand it over to my uh, counterpart, Assistant Chief Cesar Escobar, to talk about uh, the medical, uh, medical angle and any victims. Uh, good evening, I am uh, Cesar Escobar, Assistant Chief for EMS Operations. Uh, earlier this evening, uh, we uh, arrived on scene. Uh, we have a total of uh, 28 units on scene. Uh, we currently have seven uh, patients that we're currently uh, treating. Six of those are firefighters with minor injuries. Five of them have been transported to area hospitals. We also have one civilian with minor injury smoke inhalation uh, still being assessed on the scene. Uh, our units arrived here on scene. Uh, very quickly. Uh, we uh, uh, did a great job sectoring out this assignment, making sure that we had coverage all around the building, and uh, we're still evaluating patient facts. Do you have any questions? We don't have any questions. Come on. No. Gary? Yeah. Two fall, Julia? We know that a dog was removed, but we don't have any uh, information on that dog at this time. There's a, approximately 30 residents uh, within the buildings themselves. Thank you, everybody. Breaking glass and everything. This never happened before.
reaction to the fire that took place here? I came because my father worked there. Your father worked in that yeah. supermarket? Yeah, he worked in the supermarket from opening to closing, so I haven't heard anything from him. How long has your father worked in that supermarket? How long since the day open? Okay. How long has it been open? A year and a half. Huh? About a year and a half. A year and a half years. And, it's, uh, and uh, have you seen something like this before? No. And uh, how, how is it uh, connected to the community? How does the community use the store for? Um, shopping. Grocery shopping. Is it like the only store around here? Major no, there's market? more. There's more around. And uh, do you know the owner of the store? Yes. And did you, did you happen to see him on the scene here? Did you see no, him? I haven't seen him on the So what's your thoughts on losing a supermarket in this area now? It's sad because they have not opened it for a while. And uh, there's also a pharmacy here that's also damaged. Do you use that pharmacy also? No, no. How often is that pharmacy used in this area? Why? More than five years. you have anything else you want to say, ma'am? More than five years. Do you have anything else you want to say? No. Can you spell your name? I hope everybody yeah. will be okay. I want to my marriage. Right, thank you very much. So what happened was I was on the bus picking up my little brother from school and next thing you know I called my mother and I said, Ma, there's a fire. That's the first thing I could think of. And the rest, I just got my siblings and here we are now. Yeah, and how long ago this fire occurred? Mm, like six. Six o'clock, so it's been going on for two hours already. And uh, what's your thoughts? Like, have you seen something like this before? Honestly, when I was younger, but this is the first time I'm seeing something like this. And what is it there? Is it like a store or a supermarket or what? You could say a supermarket. A supermarket. What supermarket is it? Is it like a Sea Town, a Key Food? What type of supermarket? No. Yeah, like my mom said, Christina. Okay. And how long, have you been to that supermarket before? No, never. My siblings. Okay. And uh, do you have anything else you want to say? No, but I want to shout out my siblings and my family for being here. This is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you spell your name? Um, my name is Melissa. M E L I S S A. Okay. Last name? Aranda. A R A N D A. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.